10, 20 years from now, we are living in a new green economy where we will recognize very little of what we are looking at now because the whole industry is going to move in that direction. For me, there's no doubt about it. And I think architecture and building cities, uh, planning cities, have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, basically, 20 years from now, uh, I think cities will be much more self-sufficient in food and energy than they are now. I think that the current generation of urban dwellers are very innovative and will innovate the way cities supply themselves in food and energy. Already we are seeing urban agriculture as a phenomenon worldwide. How people are reclaiming urban underused land and even suburbs and inner cities areas even for intense food production. And um, this is happening both in the developed and the developing world. Uh, now, housing itself can play an enormous role in shifting towards this green economy and making it very easy for people to make this adjustment and actually become a culture by which we strive and create our art and culture around a very responsible set of living principles that makes it possible for the world population to actually flourish and continue on this one planet. And um, I think more and more people are becoming aware. 20 years from now, a house is part of the urban ecology. It produces food, it cleans its water, it composts its uh, waste, it composts its waste, it reuses its waste. So as nature does very well, creating complex, diverse systems that do not generate waste, but that always take waste and uses it into a new process. A house can be playing the same, similar role in, this, in the city. Now, this is extremely important for especially um, developing countries in areas that do not have municipal infrastructure. The house itself can very much supplement municipal infrastructure and one can build very self-contained systems, green systems, energy systems, food, food production systems that, that fit in a, in a city framework.